All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back with the Outer Worlds. Let's go ahead to Olympus and see what sort of troubles we can get up to there. An unknown vessel is approaching our ship. Their intentions are currently indeterminate. Put Once through. I deduce their intentions, I will play one of two audio signals. A cheerful fanfare if they are friendly, alarms if they are hostile. Their intentions are no longer unknown. All right. The unknown vessel has deployed a boarding mechanism. They will attach themselves to our airlock and attempt boarding shortly. That sound indicates that a boarding mechanism has successfully attached to our airlock. Captain, I am pleased to inform you that we are currently in the process of being boarded. Sorry, what? Uh, you're not supposed to be pleased to inform me that. I have been programmed to simulate joy and excitement at the opportunity to test my limited defensive capabilities. Oh, okay. Captain Hawthorne installed a lethal shock trap on our airlock in the event of an invasion. I am prepared to deploy this trap at a moment's notice. Who are these people? Our airlock is a death, tra death trap installed? Need to know these things. I was bluffing, Captain. When we met in Emerald Vale, my systems were not fully operational. Even if they were, I might have made an exception for you. Oh, that's the invading sweet. ship appears to be a decommissioned storage vessel. The crew are either pirates or freelancers. My opinion of their competence is low. How'd they find us? Uh, let them know I'm flattered, but I wish uh, they brought dinner first. That is unlikely. Judging by the state of the invading ship and the competence of the boarding party, I deduce they are incapable of paying for dinner. So their they're ship pirates. is using a tracking device too sophisticated for their primitive astrogator. I conclude they are receiving outside assistance. If you prefer to make an escape, I can disable their boarding mechanism. However, as long as that tracking device remains on board their ship, they will be able to find us again. Alright. Understood, Captain. I will be deploying the Unreliable's lethal deterrence system. Please approach the airlock and enjoy the show. Good. Guns at the ready. Ada, what else she got trapped? <laughs> what is that for? Let, let's disable this tracking device. Nobody, and I mean nobody, no matter what game I'm playing, fucks with my ship. I'm gonna slaughter this entire crew, scrap your ship for parts, and then jettison the rest of you out the airlock. Oof. Looks like our opponent knows how to play defense. All right, freebooters, fall back and regroup. Freebooters. Like, we just destroyed them. Toss balls, not grenades. Alright, I guess we're going through this door. After we take some ammo.
that's is that that's a ladder. Empty what? Ooh, that's a grenade launcher. We're gonna take that. Yeah, this ship is the worst for wear. That looks like a sprat head, not a sprat foot. Did I hear something? Their mistake. Any of them got a key card for that area in there? No. There's another level? I know, it's just a, like a little workbench deck or something. What's in here? Just stairs. disappointed. I was hoping you'd play by the rules. We could have had a good old-fashioned boarding. Now you're barging into my office, muddy and tracks all over my floor. A little respect for the ship. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I know you're nervous and all, but I'm just here to talk. <laughs> have you met me? <laughs> I've never respected anyone's personal space. Yeah, but I had every intention of respecting the upholstery. I would have had you space to shot in the bathroom or something. You're the captain of the Unreliable. You dropped out of the sky in Emerald Vale, and whatever you've been doing on Gorgon, you've upset my employer. You and I are in a bit of a situation. I don't get paid unless you're dead, and a man's got to make a living. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Uh, I understand you want to walk away alive. Let's talk terms. No, I'm not. I'm not. No. no. I can figure out who your employer is from your terminal. Right. Messages, error. Very well. Okay. It is a nice large ship though. Got 
a bunch of stuff here to loot. Okay. Ada, that's back to the ship. we go an interesting little development but uh you know i probably should have tried to question him but uh he probably only communicated through messages anyway so eh. <laughs> all right everybody all right we good mm -hmm. yes captain turn off the Welcome alarms back, captain I understand you have resolved your differences with our former boarding party. Are you ready to depart? Understood, Captain. Resuming our course. Alright. Same team. Okay. Well, seems like we might not we be getting were answers to find from here. Mo alive, right? See, how can we get off the terminal? in here nothing much there we go all right let's uh upgrade for a little bit That's a lot of drugs in the sink. Okay. 
This thing's orbit is stable, right? Ain't it checked before we docked? I have Captain? no clue. Oh my god, it's bloodbath. Can't do that. Sprat tails and coffee. Let's take a look. Oh, hello. here though.
Hold still, you douchebag. Okay. I'm glad I kind of got a sneak up on him instead of coming straight through that door. Jasper. Uh, uh, uh. Shush. No talking. Concentrating. Damn it. I almost had it. The formula was in my mind and I almost had it. I was so close to a breakthrough I could practically taste it. You really did pick the worst time to manifest. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you came to your senses. I'm in a hurry. The sky high. My magnum opus of psychostimulants. I feel like I've already explained this to the last hallucination. I'm oh, not hang on. I see what's happening. You're real. Ergo, not a hallucination. This is interesting. Yeah. I have several questions for you. Let's start with the obvious. Who are you, and how are you even alive? Uh, let's skip introductions. I need. Uh, uh, I was going to ask you the same thing. What happened here? All sorts of things. Science, mainly. A little bit of research. If you're talking about all the dead bodies, that'd be the pink slip protocol. Right. That answers that. Next question. Do you come bearing fresh pharmaceuticals? No. I don't think this fellow's entirely in his right mind. Look, we all know you're here to interrogate me. If I'm going to go through this ordeal, I'm not doing it sober. New friends mean new birthdays to keep track of. And I can't spare much room in my mind palace for frivolous trinkets of information. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Uh, I need you to tell me what's going on. Auntie Cleo instituted the pink slip protocol. Fancy marketing term that translates to, we're not satisfied with the quality of your work, so we're revoking your lifetime contracts. Can you believe Auntie terminated my entire team? It's a terrible setback. For my team, I mean, not for me. Not this time. I'll continue the work on my own if need be. They're all dead, so it's not a setback, it's an end. Ah, right. How do I put this? This is not the first time I've lost a research team to corporate mismanagement. Mm -hmm. It's the second. Andy had been threatening to instigate Pink Slip Protocol for months. Though I honestly didn't think they'd have the stones to do it. I was on the verge of giving Auntie the results she wanted. Well, almost on the verge. Approaching the verge. The point is, I didn't think this would happen. Right. Bureaucratic procrastination and some incompetent saber-rattling. Before I was traded, I worked on Project Gorgon. I lost that team by attrition. Management turned the screw on my team. Forced me to fire one in ten researchers. 
The few of us that remained were overworked and exhausted. We didn't have much of a security detail. I don't know how the primals got loose, but my team didn't stand a chance. <sighs> Tell me what happened. We were designing a drug the likes of which Halcyon had never seen. A veritable panacea that cured lethargy and guaranteed a lifetime of productivity. I know. I was overwhelmed, overworked, frustrated. Forced to submit unfinished samples, failing to meet impossible deadlines. I started self-medicating. To enable my genius to perform at a greater capacity. To forget. To endure. To feel nothing. Project Gorgon was in its final days when the Primals attacked our lab. It wasn't long until Spacer's choice authorized my transfer to this facility. Right, human inquiry uh, was testing adrenal time on people. Why did you name Primals? Human inquiry was supposed to be responsible for testing adrenal time. Under normal circumstances, the chem lab wouldn't have had to perform live tests. But creative incubation pressured my team with impossible deadlines. The prototypes we delivered to Dr. Blakesley at Human Inquiry were poor because we were rushed. I had to begin experimenting on my own. I had to perform my own tests, so I used primals. They're not the best choice for test subjects, but I was working for Spacer's Choice. Mm -hmm. Whoever reached greatness by coloring within the lines, and besides, my lines often move around on the page. My point is, I was doing my job. I was doing science. I will continue to do so until my mind or my body expires. Well, both are going pretty fast. Auntie Cleo wants us to develop Anthracillin Plus, a new and improved version of the original Anthracillin formula. And what Auntie wants, Auntie gets. Eventually... I was making considerable progress. I can't possibly fathom why they prematurely terminated the project. Right. Uh, everyone's dead. There's no use lying. I'm not lying. I'm carefully curating the truth for you. All right, listen. Auntie needs to be patient. I'll eventually get around to developing Anthracillin Plus. My priority right now is sky high. Once I perfect my formula, I'll be able to keep my mind functioning at peak performance without any pesky distractions. Like, feelings. No, you don't. There's nothing interesting in the chem lab. There's nothing interesting in Gorgon at all. Gorgon is a featureless rock dragged along by the gravitational current of a barren asteroid belt. The chem lab is a graveyard. You won't find anything there but the dead. Sounds familiar. Somebody's been uh, warning me to stay off Gorgon. I'm looking for Ambrose's journal. The truth? What are you, some kind of hero from those old contraband serials? Digging through corporate secrets? Stopping at nothing until you discover the truth? If you've set your heart on exploring my old labs, I won't try to dissuade you. Indulge me with a favor. And I'll give you the access you want. What do you want? The electromechanical turbine is offline. Without any power, I can't possibly continue my work. Be a deer and reactivate it for me. That's all I ask. No, I'm not stepping out of my lab. Not under any circumstances. I can't bear to look at what's out there. Take the elevator to the storm platform at the top of this facility. Reactivate the turbine, and I'll give you the access you want. Fine. Is this it? Wow, this is moving real fast. Well, 
Lovely. China knows I'm here. All of China knows I'm here. really needs grenades.
There's no way they lost me. And there's no way I'm stuck, right? Seriously need to repair my gear. See that every day, Captain. Facilities back on the grid and my pipes again floweth with the sweet, sweet essence of my salvation. I suppose I have you to thank for realigning the machine. Of course, of course, Jasper, you imbecile. You'll need my voice to get into the chem lab. I'm obviously not coming with you, so I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of saltuna. Oh my god. Wait. Take my gun while you're at it. If you end up dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. Okay, cool. Die, perhaps? Auto-mechanical sentries are generally programmed to ignore corpses. I don't like the idea of going back to that place. To that life. Yes, I know it's not me risking my throat gallivanting around Gorgon. It's you, for whatever madcap reasons you've got. I've helped you once, and I don't feel great about it. I made a clean break from Gorgon, and now it feels like you're asking me to tether myself back to that place. I suppose you've got a point. Or something resembling a point. 
I'm emotionally addled right now, and I'm allowing my sentiments to get the better of me. Here, my personal security keycard. There's a hallway near the processing room. It leads to a security terminal. Use this keycard to unlock the hallway and disable security. Well, thank you so very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, I think we'll return to Gorgon. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thank mm -hmm. you.